Welcome to another episode of Twazzy Thrifters. For those new to the channel, my name's Brad. I'm Jams. And we buy and resell on eBay Australia. So every month we do a What Sold Bolo vs Nolo edition. So be on the lookout versus not on the lookout. Uh, 15 items that we are always on the lookout for and 5 that we probably wouldn't pick up again. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The first item we sold was this BMW Genuine Air Filter. So we picked that up as part of the bulk um, car lot. That was lot. an auction. Yeah, so we paid about $10 per piece and we sold that for 75 bucks, leaving us $41.25. So a nice little start on that one. It's a very nice start to the car parts. We sold the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 for Sega Saturn game. Um, Mortal Kombat's a really great series and this one was pretty rare to find for that system. So we paid $4 for that in our big bulk games haul, sold it pretty quickly for $60 and we made $39.70. Gotta be happy with that one. Uh, the next item was this Kappa men's jacket that we picked up in part of the big vintage wholesale lot that we did. Uh, so we paid $27 per item on those. We sold this for $59.95 because it had a couple little like tears and one of the buttons was missing. Yeah, our very first sale was a damaged item. So we ended up getting $59.95 making us $16.66 which still, is still a pretty good return on a wholesale lot. So pretty happy with that. Yep, yeah, I'll take that. We sold these really cool Carhartt overalls. We picked them up at a garage sale for $3.33. So good. We sold them so quickly. They sold the next day for $68.95 and we made $48.16. Yeah. Uh, this item was also from the same garage sale. Uh, Nike Air Max Infuriate. Um, we picked them up for 5 bucks. Sold them for $55. Uh, which made us thirty dollars and five cents after all fees and shipping. We actually picked up three pairs from that same garage sale, so that was. I think quite... two of those are gone. That was a great yeah. garage sale. Um, one of my favourite op shop finds recently was this Scotty Australian Ugly Christmas Rashi. I want to say jumper, but <laughs> it is a Rashi because we're all going to the beach. We paid five dollars for that. It was half price. Sold it very quickly, forty nine ninety five, and we made twenty nine ninety six. That was a pretty cool find. Something so that was different. Fun. Uh, again from the game lot, this Ice Blue N64 controller, paid $4 a piece for that lot, sold this for $50 pretty quickly, making us $31 profit. That's so cool. Uh, you got from an op shop three pairs of Levi's 504 jeans for $12 for all three pairs, which is amazing. And we sold them to two different people over the next week for $131.90 total. Mm. So after shipping out those two parcels, we made $81.25. That was very nice. We don't find Levi's for cheap enough very often, so yeah. that was a super cool find. Uh, these pair of Nike Zoom Hyperdunk we've had in our death pile for a little while. <laughs> we sold them for 70 bucks. We paid 15 bucks initially and made 33.10 on those. I pairs. don't know why we didn't list them <laughs> sooner. Um, Birkenstocks. Oh, I found these, these cool. yellow Birkies with the blue bottoms at Savers. Uh, we paid $15.99 and sold them for $79.99. So we made $45.10. <laughs> they were really, really bright. They were like so new, cool. like they hadn't even been worn as well. Uh, we sold this Katmandu newer tagged men's jacket. We picked this up a while ago for 24 bucks. We sold it for $90 and that left us $45.80 profit. So nice little Beautiful. five minutes. A uh, pair of RM Williams brand new tags linesman pants. These were a size 56. We picked them up for $10 in a huge lot and they also sold for $90. So that one left us $55.50. <laughs> it looks like we're on the $90 cycle here. So we sold this marketing for tourism textbook as well. We sold that for $90. $90. Bucks. Uh, cost us $6.65 leaving us $63.15 in profit. Lovely. Um, some more jeans, this G-Star Women's Lynn Skinny. These were the opposite end of the size spectrum. They were a size 25, <laughs> teeny tiny. We got those for three seventy when we bought hundreds and hundreds of pairs. Sold them for ninety nine ninety five, and we made seventy four seventy six. Yeah, we've sold a couple of those so far, so that's a nice little start on that lot. Uh, nudie jeans, we love selling nudies. Picked these up for $8 a while back, sold them for fifty nine ninety five, which was awesome and made ourselves $35.66. That's the nice list. They're all the things we would love to find again. <laughs> now into the Nolos. So not on the lookout for. Um, a lot of the stuff we sort of include in here, we usually buy in like bulk lots and stuff like that. But if we were sort of to find these items in a thrift store or a garage sale, we probably wouldn't bother picking them up again. Cass decided to join us Hello. Uh, with her new bell. So she's nice and tinkly. Very loud. Uh, so the first 
one that we sold was this Rihanna um, Talk the Talk CD. So we picked up 1,200 CDs for 80 cents each. Uh, we sold this one for $9.50. So after our postage and that, we made $5.27. Now they are really easy to list because you can scan the barcode, they're brand new and stuff like that. But if I was to find this in an op shop secondhand, I probably wouldn't bother picking it up. I agree. Uh, we sold this Eraser VHS. It was an Arnold, it was like a... <laughs> I'm not even sure what sort of VHS <laughs> it was, but it was pretty different. It might have been an extra rental. We got it for a buck. We sold it for nine, so we made $6.83. Yeah, not a huge profit on that, but you know, it's out the door. Uh, here's one that we made very little profit on when we talk about pop vinyls uh, quite often in that when we buy them, we buy them in bulk, you get the good and bad. So I paid $5 for all the vinyls individually. Uh, we sold this for $16. So after fees, shipping, <laughs> we made 42 cents. Whoa. <laughs> we also sold this Blue Planet PH up. Um, we got this in... <laughs> a lot of eight pallets of fish stuff. It's a multi-quantity listing, so that does work in our favour. It was about a dollar a piece, sold it for six dollars, and we made four dollars twenty-two. <laughs> uh, last item, and this was my mistake, was this Nintendo Super Famicom. But how do you say that? I don't know. Poo 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 poo. Game. So we picked this up for four dollars in the bulk lot. Now, when I changed our stuff over to um, Match eBay Plus. I didn't realize it was some stuff that there was postage on. So postage got removed from this item and then it sold. So it sold for $14.39, which means we only made a whopping two, two cents. cents. <laughs> so that was my fault. We had initially $14.39 plus post, but because I changed everything over to eBay plus, it got removed. Ah, uh, what can you So these things happen. If you do make these mistakes, um, it's best just to ship them off so you're not sort of getting any dings or anything like that in your account for canceling. Um, but yeah, that's five nolos 15 <laughs> bolos now we're going to get into our monthly totals which we do every month we have share with you our total for the month our sales for the month and our asp obviously we pay tax um, cost of goods and all that sort of stuff on this postage so in total we sold 551 items which is a nice month our total turnover for the month was $23,533.10, which I think is about $1,000 up on last month. So I'm pretty happy with that. And our ASP went up a little bit as well, up to $42.71. Very so, nice. A nice month for us. Obviously, there's a lot of things um, contributing to that. Um, COVID going around has definitely sort of pumped up sales in these areas. So we don't expect to be doing this ongoing, but it's been a nice few months for us. Uh, we will be putting out another video of $100 sales. Yeah, we've saved the good stuff. We've saved some very good stuff for another video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and come back and watch that one. Leave us a comment below what was your best sale and your worst pickup for the month. We love hearing what you guys are up to. And make sure you hit that thumbs up for us, guys. We really appreciate all your support. So thanks for coming along, and we will see you next time on Tawsy Thrifters. Cats out of here as well. <laughs> Bye for now.